Hello everyone, my name is Polen and welcome to another anime figure unboxing and review. Today I am unboxing Nendroid Ultra Pendragon Racing version, Nendroid number 1177. This figure was produced by Good Smile Company and it was released in May 2020. So, as standard, on the front of the box there is the Nendroid number, character name, a picture of the figure and a window through which you can see the Nendroid and some accessories. On one side of the box there are two pictures of the Nendroid. Here's the back with three pictures and some information. On the other side of the box there are two more pictures of the Nendroid. Here's the top of the box. And here's the bottom of the box. Now let's open the box and take out the figure. The inside of the box is all yellow. As standard, there's an instruction in English and Japanese. So, here are all the parts that come with this Nendroid. First, there's the hair piece. The hair bow and ponytail are separate pieces that are connected with a neck joint. The small hair piece that is sticking up is also a separate piece and can be removed. Altria comes with three face plates. There's a standard expression. A carefree smiling expression and a blushing expression. Her torso and hips are together as one piece. She gets a pair of straight legs and one bent right leg. There are two different right shoulder pieces, one straight and one bent right arm and three right hands, one open hand and two different hands for holding accessories. There are also two different left shoulder pieces, 
one straight and one bent left arm and three left hands, one open hand, one hand holding up three fingers and one hand for holding accessories. Altria also gets a cape that can be attached to her back. Her accessories are a closed parasol, two pieces to make an open parasol, a ribbon piece for her parasol, and her sword Excalibur. And as standard, there's a base plate with a support piece and an extra neck joint. Now let's put her in some poses. Here's the first pose. In this one, Ultra has two straight legs, a bent left arm with that unique hand with three fingers, she has a straight right arm with an unusual hand for holding accessories and in her right hand she's holding her closed parasol. The paint on this Nendroid is perfect, I didn't find any paint errors and all the prints on the parasol and her torso look great. When it comes to articulation, her hair piece and legs are on neck joints so it's possible to pose them in all directions. But, like I said in my other reviews, I dislike neck joints, especially on the legs, as they are hard to move and they make posing the figure more difficult. I can accept neck joints for the hair, but for the legs I prefer ball joints. In this next pose, Ultra has one straight and one bent leg, straight left arm with an open hand and a bent right arm. This time in her right hand she's holding her open parasol. She also has her carefree smiling expression with an open mouth. I must say that overall it's difficult to pose this Nendroid, that's mostly due to her cape as the cape connects to the nendroid just above the support piece. It also comes high up, so the top white part of the cape keeps scratching on the bottom of the head. Furthermore, out of all poses I'm going to show you in this video, this one was definitely the most difficult to put together, as her parasol is very heavy for a nendroid accessory, it was hard to find balance and keep the parasol from turning her hand and falling down. Here's the next pose. In this one Ultra again has one bent and one straight leg bent left arm and straight right arm, both of her hands are for holding accessories, in her right hand she's holding her sword Excalibur, and I've changed her faceplate to the one with a blushing expression. Here's another pose, very similar to the previous one, I have only changed her right leg, both hands and faceplate. And here's the last pose, this time she has Excalibur in her left hand and in her right hand she's holding her closed parasol. 
and she once again has her faceplate with a blushing expression. Overall, Ultra Pendragon Racing version is a very cute Nandroid. She looks great, and the paint and prints are perfect. My only complaint is the design of her cape piece. It is in the way of the support piece and constantly scratches on the underside of her head, which makes me worried that in the future the figure might have some paint transfer issues. But I won't take it off because I really like how her cape looks. The figure just wouldn't look as good without it, but the cape piece could be designed better. Also, it would be nice to get some more accessories with this Nandroid. And that's my unboxing and review of Nandroid Ultra Pendragon Racing version. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked the video please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my enemy figure unboxings and reviews. Also if you'd like to see more pictures of my figures and nandroids you can check my instagram, link in the description.